But I think that Prague Summer is an experience where you take what you learn in the classroom and then you literally go see it or go do it. My name is Linda Fries and the last name is spelled F-R-I-E-S like fries. We start out in Krakow, Poland. Um, it's a small medieval city. My favorite part of it was just the old town square. Um, you get in there that like that first night and everybody's like really tired from the plane and everything. And then you just like, it's a normal city and then you walk into the old town square and it's like being back hundreds of years. It's so cool. My experience in Krakow was I don't know, it was interesting because even just, you know, going into a grocery store is just such a cool new experience. Because, um, you know, seeing all the different stuff they have, trying to figure out how to pay, <laughs> use money. Um, we visited the salt mines, um, which were a really cool, it was a really cool experience. Um, you can actually lick the walls in the salt mines. I think I remember licking the walls a few hundred times at least, kept down to that. And then we go on to Prague, which is a larger city. We went to, uh a gothic cathedral which I remember really well because it was beautiful and you could see it in the distance and then like actually going in there and seeing the architecture was like so cool because fun fact my favorite churches are gothic cathedrals yes those are the best so that was really awesome <laughs> and also just exploring like main square and just being able to discover things on your own was really cool and not having like a specific agenda I also remember like the really red roofs when we went up in the in the tower and like looking at the view of the whole city that was the coolest thing ever just to be able to like see all of it oh, I love that I want to go back and see it every day if I could I would do that and then from there we travel to Dresden we're there overnight I think one of our teachers described it as the Disneyland of Germany way back when um, Dresden was completely firebombed and completely destroyed and then they started rebuilding it so everything looks old but it's contrastingly really really new our hotel was kind of situated like right in the middle of like this really nice like shopping plaza so of course there was really good food a lot of people bought stuff everyone goes shopping on the trip it, you can't ignore it you can either get novelties from each country or you can get a lot of food get a lot of food <laughs> we got to go to the Volkswagen factory which was awesome we got to sit in some really nice cars and do some really cool simulations and we also go to Berlin so we end the trip in East Berlin uh, Berlin was definitely my favorite city um, it's it's new everything's new it's like the European New York. My favorite food place there, my favorite food on the trip, uh, was the Donor Kebab. It's actually a nice poster here. Oh, there's a lot of Turkish immigrants in, in Berlin and in Germany, and they have amazing food. It's the best, probably the best food I've ever had in my life, to be honest. We saw the Berlin Wall. They took it down, but there's still pieces of it up. We went to a great museum. You know, you can look at a textbook and you can look online, you can see images of it, but it's really different to like be there and see the history and feel the history flowing through your veins and it's just such a cool feeling. Safety is our number one priority on the trip. Obviously we take it really seriously um, and understand that parents are investing a lot of trust in us and the trip. So we like to give kids time on their own or in small groups at least never alone but in groups of two or three students. We like them to have the feeling of exploring the cities that we're in um, but we never let them off on their own for more than one and a half to two hours so you know if um, if they experience any trouble, it won't be long until we see them and they certainly always know how to contact us. Some students can apply for financial aid through the GELF program. Um, they can receive up to, depending on their application, up to 70% of the cost of the trip can be paid for um, by GELF in a scholarship. Um, and then in addition to that, we're always willing to work with parents to figure out, you know, what's the best way that we can make sure that um, the financial concerns aren't um, getting in the way of their students' ability to go on the trip. I think that might actually be the easiest question. Hell yes. I really encourage anyone to go on it um, if they can. It's a once in a lifetime experience, really. If you can go, go. You know, it's just something you'll, I don't know, it's just such a fabulous opportunity the kids in, in Newton have. If you're interested in history, even if you're not interested in history, if you're just interested in going somewhere that's not the United States, you should go on the Prague trip. It was, I don't know, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's an indescribable moment when you're just with people that you like in a city that's beautiful, um, reliving history. It's, it's just amazing.